tastes differ. Some like eggs for breakfast, some like pancakes, and some just go with a cigarette and coffee. But that's not important. What's important is that there are living humans with healthy minds who enjoy eating fish that look like penis under a cold shower, and it's not even the worst dish on our list. So why don't we just look at some of the strangest dishes in the world while I sip my coffee? And by the way, if you're eating, enjoy your meal. The first intriguing delicacy is an Anzac soup. It's a traditional dish enjoyed in countries like Thailand and Laos. The idea of eating ants' eggs might sound a bit unusual, but it's actually considered a delicacy in these regions. It's made from the eggs of beaver ants or rat ants, harvested from the nests. The soup is prepared with aromatic herbs, spices, vegetables or meats, and tiny, little ant eggs swimming around. Eggs offer a unique texture and a subtle, nutty flavor that surprises even the most adventurous eaters. While trying the soup may not be for everyone, it's an intriguing dish that highlights the diversity of culinary traditions worldwide. Century eggs, also known as 100-year eggs, are a Chinese delicacy. Despite the name, these eggs aren't older than your grandma. They're not actually preserved for a century. The eggs undergo transformation in texture and flavor as they are stored in a blend of clay, ash, salt, quicklime and rice husks for a period ranging from weeks to months. The end result is an egg that looks like it's been dug up from an ancient archaeological site. The egg white becomes a dark brown translucent jelly with a soft salty taste, while the yolk turns dark green or grey, creating a smooth and creamy texture. Despite the strong smell and intense flavor, century eggs are loved by many in East Asia. Look at these cute creatures. What's the first thing that pops into your head when you see them? Definitely not, how can I turn them into soup? Unfortunately, fruit bed soup is a special delicacy from Palau. It was created as a way to get protein when there weren't many meat options besides fish. The small fruit beds used in the soup feed on wild fruits, flowers and nectar, contributing to the distribution of seeds. The taste of the soup is a bit divisive, with some people loving it and others not so much. It's often compared to chicken soup, and the meat from the beds is sweet because of that diet. To make the soup, you boil the bed with ginger and coconut milk and you can add extra spices and veggies if you want. Some people like to take off the bat's fur and skin before eating it, while others just chew on the bat to get the meat out. This dish takes the heart attack on a plate concept to a whole new level. Deep fried butter is a unique dish popular in the USA, particularly at state fairs. The recipe involves freezing balls of butter, coating them in batter and deep frying them to perfection. Some variations even include cream cheese, cinnamon, honey and various toppings. The end result is a treat that melts in the mouth faster than you can say cholesterol check. Deep fried butter's flavor was compared to the flavors of French toast. and this described as tasting like the most buttery bread you've ever had. You might be wondering who in the right mind would eat deep fried butter. Well, this is America, land of freedom, land where no one can forbid you to clog your arteries with cholesterol. Bull testicles, known as criadillas, are a dish that is not commonly eaten or embraced by many. They are typically consumed in areas where bullfighting is popular, often by the victorious matador to showcase strengths. You can also try them in Spain or Mexico or in the USA. The preparation involves cleaning, peeling, slicing and sometimes soaking the testicles to remove excess blood. They are then coated in a seasoned batter or flour mixture before being deep fried until they achieve a crispy texture. Criadillas are said to have a unique flavor and texture, combining the tenderness of meat with a hint of gamey richness. This dish might sound crazy and even disgusting to many people, but it can be a satisfying experience for those looking to try something new. Have you ever heard of the penis fish? It's actually called gable and it's a popular snack in South Korea. Now, before your imagination goes wild, let me clarify that it's not actually a fish, but a fat pink worm that lives in the sand and mud of the ocean floor and can get up 10 to 30 centimeters long. These little critters can be found along the coast of Korea and Japan. The worm may seem bland at first, but its chewy texture reveals hints of salty, fishy and clam-like flavors. It surprisingly ends with 
a sweat finish, especially after rinsing in fresh seawater. Koreans like to eat gable raw, sliced up and still squirming, dipped in sesame oil and salt or spicy gochujang sauce. For the less adventurous, you can throw it on a skewer and grill it. People say that the bigger and fatter the worm, the better it tastes. With la coche, also known as corn smarter Mexican truffle, is a fungus that grows on organic corn and is considered a delicacy in Mexico. Despite being a plant disease, corn smart is a price ingredient in Mexican cooking, with infected cups being more valuable than regular ones. The blue-black girls that develop have a unique earthy and savory taste, with hints of mushroom and a touch of sweetness, that complements dishes like quesadillas, tacos, tamales and omelets. It can also be enjoyed raw in salad salads, desserts, stews, soups and corn patties. In Mexico, you can find fresh with lacocha in many markets, but there are also canned and frozen options available. Fasik is a traditional Egyptian dish known for its strong smell and for the fact that it can be deadly if not prepared correctly. This dish is definitely not for the faint-hearted or those with weak stomachs. To make fasik, grey mullet fish are salted and wrapped in plastic bags for several weeks. As the fish decomposes and ferments, it develops a truly unique flavor and aroma, almost like something rotten. Once the fermentation is complete, the fish is pickled and prepared by removing the head, bones and cleaning it thoroughly. It is then marinated in a mixture of oil, lemon and tahini. In fact, Fasik dates back to Pharaonic times, when each spring the receding Nile River left behind trails of rats and fish. When served, Fasik is typically accompanied by onions, bread and sometimes eggs. This strange drink hails from some parts of Asia, where it's considered both a traditional medicine and an exotic drink. Snake wine is exactly what it sounds like. It's rice wine mixed with a venomous snake. The snake is left to soak in the alcohol for an extended period, allowing its essence to blend with the liquid. Forget about your typical notes of oak and berries. The bottle often contains preserved snakes, complete with scales and fans for that extra exotic touch. Some variations even include other creatures like scorpions or geckos. The venom is neutralized by the alcohol, making it safe to drink. The taste can vary from strong and sharp to simply unusual. Some believe that snake wine possesses medicinal properties and is a symbol of vitality and power. Australia is known for its fair share of terrifying animals and insects, but did you know that some of them are considered a delicacy? Take Wichita grubs, for example. These fat larvae are a favorite among native aborigines. These grubs are typically found in the roots of acacia trees and look not very appetizing. Surprisingly, their appearance does not stop anyone, and people eat them either raw or cooked. Some say that Wichita grubs don't taste as bad as they may look, tasting like almonds, scrambled egg, chicken, or even popcorn. Their high in protein and nutrition, making them a potential alternative to meat. To find and enjoy fresh vegetable grubs, it is best to have the assistance of a knowledgeable Aboriginal Australian, who can locate, dig, curve and retrieve them from the roots of vegetable bushes. This is one of the weirdest dishes you'll ever encounter, and it is not for the faint of heart. Casu marzu, hailing from the beautiful island of Sardinia, Italy, is not your ordinary cheese. It's a traditional sheep's milk cheese that's been lovingly infused with live insect larvae. These little critters are encouraged to hatch and burrow through the cheese, creating a soft, gooey texture that some may describe as, well, let's just say unique. This cheese is meant to be consumed with live larvae still wriggling around. Some some prefer to pick out the larvae before eating, while others are bold enough to indulge in the full experience. The cheese has its roots in times of poverty, where people would consume whatever they could to survive. However, over the years, it became a delicacy for hardcore cheese lovers. The dish is illegal in many countries due to health risks, but some brave souls still enjoy this cheese. Tuna eyeballs are definitely one of the most unique foods out there. They are made by grilling or boiling fresh tuna eyeballs and serving them as a side dish or snack. Some even like to eat them raw, and they don't cut them up, you eat the whole eyeball. The dish is often a sign of respect for the whole fish, as it's common in some areas to use every part of the fish. Tuna eyeballs are surprisingly big and can be pretty scary to look at, but those brave enough to taste them say they're actually pretty good. The eyeballs are jelly-like and have a 
rich fatty taste that some find absolutely delicious. But what else do we know about Japan? Well, as we discovered, they eat fish eyeballs and they also watch anime 24 7. You'll be surprised, but that's not it. Click the video on your screen to find out about different unpleasant human experiments in world history. And I promise, Japan went hard there. So, I'll see you there.